Can we? You don't have to worry, the queen, the queen will be impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Your own one with the show in the background as well. You're going to Dubai. <laughs> Assalamualaikum, how are you? How's it going? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Everything good? Alhamdulillah, where's the boys today then? Yeah, yeah, good weekend. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad, we're watching sports. How about you? Yeah, good yeah, weekend? usual, just getting on with it, you know, it's all fun and games. That's all right, that's to hear. Where are the boys today? Inshallah, they're uh, on their way back in Luton. They should be here in uh, another 40 minutes, inshallah. Excellent stuff. How's your conflicts? Yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> LA Weekly, welcome to another episode. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Good morning, good morning, good morning, LA Weekly. You join me on a Monday morning and it is all go, go, go. Things are a little bit different around here this week. I am picking up the camera myself. We're going back to the old school Lord of Lean vlogging days. If you guys have been followers of mine for many, many years, five, six, seven years, you'll know that I used to do this back in the day and I thought, you know what? It's the best way to keep the content moving. It's the best way to keep it raw, fresh and original. And that is why I picked up the camera myself. Apologies if the content isn't as good or it's not as filmed as well. I am getting used to this camera. It is new to me. I've moved from the Canon to the Sony. That's no product placement or anything like that. But uh, yeah, we thought we'd try out the ZV-1 to see the colors and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, before we move on to the showroom, before we crack on with our day, I know a lot of you guys are asking me, Aleem, what on earth is happening with your home car showroom? Well, let me just show you. It is pretty much in the same state that we left it. And the reason for that being is because now we're gonna do the whole house instead of just the home car showroom. So we thought if we're gonna do so much to that section, we might as well do the whole house. So we've got an exciting project lined up for next year, inshallah. God willing, that is all going to be running smooth. Today's motor of choice, or should I say, uh, the motor of choice for the last few months has been the Range Rover. Uh, big thank you to my friend who has uh, gifted me this car pretty much uh, to use. It's actually not my car, it's a friend of mine's car that I think he's pretty much forgotten about, uh, this Range Rover. So I ended up just using it in between when all my cars are out on hire. We've had a whitewash weekend. Alhamdulillah, this weekend has been manic. Not only has it been manic because I've had to vlog, uh, sorry, I've had to edit and upload uh, LA Weekly episode five and pretty much had no sleep with that. We've also been flat out on the roads with the boys picking up cars from all over the country and bringing them back to base. So this morning they had an early start, uh, a very, very early start. Uh, they are actually back at the showroom now, so we're gonna be catching them there. We're gonna go over the cars, make sure there is no damages, everything is good to go. Uh, but yeah, a manic weekend, another whitewash weekend, alhamdulillah. And uh, yeah, it's been a good one. Right, let's get in this, into this Range Rover and let's get cracking. I am definitely not rusty at this. <laughs> let's go. So guys, we have arrived at 
the showroom. Let's head on in. I did say that I will be vlogging myself, but I do keep my options open. So we're testing out a new one today. You have something else you want. How are you? Good, I'm glad you. All good, alhamdulillah. I oh, will be back soon. I think we have a guest upstairs as well. How many cars do we have? Hey, by the way, can we just... No, 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 no. Can we... <laughs> can we just come and have a look at Inam's car? <laughs> no, it's car, sorry. Shall we just have a look at the bollard? <laughs> You either look at the bollard or either look at Nahid's back bumper. Yeah, the One of the two. <laughs> Actually, look at the red evil. Uh, if anyone thinks. If, if, if. What? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> ah, yeah, it looks perfect. It looks perfectly intact, actually. Okay. All right, listen. It's all good in the hood. We just don't know how some. How, how on earth did Nahid manage to reverse, damage his own car? His own car on a bollard. It's not even, I thought he was like the universe and like he was just against Pet at one point that he just wanted to, but he's actually against himself as well. He actually reversed his own car. You should be happy with one of your cars. I'm, I'm actually more upset that it's your car. Oh, upstairs. Good morning. It's all good. All good stuff. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Oh, good. What's the latest? We're changing up the angles. Look, I know. I know. I just because I hadn't slept much on Sunday, I had to. I had to sleep. Why don't you hold this camera? None of us slept. And walk down with it. No, no one slept. Bro. I've got to go. Where you go? Yeah, that's why I want to walk down with you and see how you do with this camera because. Oh, come on, man. Yo, yo, I'm all right with you, man. I'm all right. It seems a bit. Seems a bit what? Seems a bit to side. Was he just meaning in that boy? Might come eyes. I'm not complaining, man. We just got you know we got to make it work now. This is fun, isn't it? Look at that. That's for today. Had a beautiful transporter. Tapped me in the back quarter at 70. I got away with that. Yeah. And then like cars like bro picking over. Give me a hug. I'm just glad you're here right now. That is just as bad as the Formula One Grand Prix this weekend in Saudi Arabia. Honestly, did you hear about it? Oh, happened? Uh, Formula One Grand Prix in Saudi Arabia. So I don't watch Formula One as much as I should. Yeah. Uh, but my God, what a race it was! So many crashes, so many red uh, red flags and that sort of stuff. What are you looking at? Please don't drive into another one. Oh mate, yo, everyone, move all the phones out of it. You, you, you. Okay, we're heading upstairs. We're gonna go see Pops now. Oh, let's see what is happening. At the show, this is rather interesting. Different angle. Rolling inside of these bunches of or the worst scenario, it could be uh, it could be an engine. What's happening? What's happening? What's the crack? With mobile. Be like, I'm just hanging out. How you just did that? I know, but he can't see though. Quite swift. Okay, of course he can. Boom. Yeah, but just twist the screen. Quite swift. Pots, what are you reckon? Tried to wake you up this morning. <laughs> what do you mean? You weren't having none of it. What? Honestly. Ali, you tell us what this morning. Honestly. LA Weekly. It's maintenance Mondays. And uh, we have. It's more like stressful Monday. <laughs> It is a stressful, it is a stressful uh, Monday. It is maintenance Mondays. We've got cars coming back, cars going back on hire. Uh, well, sorry, sorry, cars coming back to base, going back out to clients. We've got cars going to service, and we've also had a car breakdown. In more on that please. Nothing by I guess you're happy because that means one less car yeah. to wash. Oh, oh, don't be like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Come on. He's one loyal guy, man. He what would you have been happy to wash the car? Exactly. He would never he would been happy. I told so him bad. to bring it here. Yeah. Just because you've had a rough Sunday. <laughs> <it doesn't laughs> Just because it couldn't wake you up. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. So sorry. Sorry. Well, no. We've lost an event to SVJ. Yeah, we lost, broke, it. Well, lost it. Yeah, we've no, lost like, it. technically, we've lost it now from the fleet for a bit, haven't we? Ah, uh, it should be alright. Inshallah. 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 Inshallah.
Look, over here at Platinum, we do show you a lot of sides of the business that are basically, um, the you know, part. the cushy part, you know, the fun parts of it, where we can get good visuals, good cinematic. However, the one part sometimes that we don't show enough of is uh, the problems that we face as well. So problem solving in any business is key and that's how you move forward. Um, now, as my father has always taken uh, every uh, problem with a pinch of salt, well, it seems to be like he takes it with a pinch of salt, but judging by the amount of grey hairs he has on his head, head <laughs> he probably does take a lot of stress on board and which has made me realise that, you know, actually any business can be successful as long as you problem solve. Isn't that correct? That is very true. Yeah, and Dora over here is a great problem solver when it comes to repairing cars, by the way. <laughs> um, but we do have now a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ off-road. Um, and tomorrow we have a client that has booked the car. However, what did he say? Doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Well, he doesn't want any other car, does he? So, if I am problem solving, um, a situation like this, I would basically first and foremost go to the other cars, the other Lamborghinis that we have in stock, which are not bad by any means. Uh, not bad at all. Not bad Still at all. Different colour, same thing. Yeah. So obviously we'd work out a reasonable deal, we'll come to a reasonable solution of some kind, and it works 95% of the time. But that 5% sometimes you can have an you can have a client that you know has specifically wanted that SVJ. Like depending on the color of that car. Yeah. So. And more importantly, it is a one of one car, so it's very hard to replace. So you have to. Oh, the phones are going absolutely nuts. It's gone manic Mondays now. It's not even maintenance Mondays. It's turned into manic Mondays. Look at them. Um, so yeah, going back to the car, sometimes it can be annoying when these sort of things happen and then there doesn't seem to be any resolution. The customer, the client wanted that specific Lamborghini and unfortunately because it's a one of one uh, SVJ, it means that there is no solution now, uh, which means that we lose out on the hire, which means that we lose out on money. And if you guys have been watching the LA Weeklies, you know our motto, well, not really our motto, but one of our sayings is, we don't like losing money. Unfortunately, this time, we're losing money. <laughs> we're losing money. But look, these are, the, these are the things that come with the business, and these are the things that I don't show you as much of, um, which is kind of my bad, which makes people think that this whole business, this whole industry uh, is uh, just a walk in the park. It really isn't. It's, a, it's more like a jog through a thorn bush. Uh, <laughs> a better way to describe it. Right, Pops? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, in Ambai, we got an order? Not just yet. Not just yet. Inshallah, we will have one coming through soon. Well, okay, guys, as well as everybody cracking on in the office, we're going to be catching up with some emails. We're going to be banging out some orders. I've got a lot to catch up with the boys. It's Mondays. Mondays is normally very, very manic. Now that I'm holding the camera for myself, I'm trying to fill in filming some places. Comment below. Let me know if you're enjoying the format of LA Weekly. It's a little bit more personal, a little bit more drilled in. I'm actually just looking at a lens right now and visioning the fact that I'm talking to my audience out there. That is actually pretty Pretty cool. I, I miss, I miss this view. I miss this feeling. Where are you going? Where are you going? You didn't be fierce, huh? I'm going dealers. Which dealers, man? Not Lambo. Thank God for that. Not Rolls Royce. VW. Ooh. To swap cars. Are you getting your car back? Uh, no, not yet. That's that's gonna be a couple of weeks easy. I gotta go pick up a, another Golf. What? Because of what's happened to your? No, they don't actually know about that yet. <clears throat> They're gonna find out in a bit. It's not your fault anyway. No, yeah, no. no. I just uh, I requested a different car because that Polo was annoying the life out of me because it's a one litre. So uh, they've sorted out another car. So now I'm going to go and ahead and land this one. And this drinks a lot. This one. Oh, it drinks like mad. Oh, no. It drinks like a V12. The problem is it's underpowered, so I have to floor it everywhere I go and then it mm -hmm. just drinks. It drinks more than my Dyson and your Dyson. My Dyson drinks regardless. We like Dysons. Yeah. You drive a Dyson? A Dyson? You don't know Dyson. Dyson. Oh, what? A Dyson. Dyson. A Dyson. Dyson. A Hoover. A Dyson. Dyson. A Dyson. I don't know what that is. Dyson. Was it Dyson? Yeah. Educate him. Pops, you have a good day? Stressful. Stressful. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now coming to 6 pm. We've had a, uh, a pretty manic Monday. It's been a been a productive day, but also a day full of problem solving. Alhamdulillah, we move, and tomorrow, inshallah, is a new day, a fresh day, a positive day, and we tackle the week just as we always do, with some serious force. Let's see you tomorrow for another day. Let's get it.
welcome to Tuesdays. It's all go, go, go. Or is it? There seems to be a storm brewing outside. Right, let's get ready and head out. Ha! Running over to the car because the weather is rather wet and gloomy and windy. It is so difficult vlogging <coughs> in a country like this. What on earth have I got my laptop charger in my pocket? Aha, vlogging life. Uh, right, guys, just look at this weather. Let's get the wipers going. Ah, oh, so wet, cold, windy, gloomy, but we don't complain. It's just that it just makes it a little bit difficult to vlog and, uh, and get on with your day. Uh, I did have a fair bit planned. I was going to travel and go see some friends, but I don't think it's quite safe to hit the motorway with this weather. I know what's going to happen. We're going to end up jumping into a load of traffic. Car's going to spin off the motorway or something like that. We're going to end up being in traffic. There's going to be delays. It's going to be wet. It's going to be windy. Every time I put down the window, my door cars are going to get wet. <sighs> There's just, I think it's, it's another one at base today. <laughs> oh, guys, if you're wondering how good my mum's food were last night, um, I can give you an official score, an official rating. It was 11 out of 10. As always, alhamdulillah. I do say to my mum, mum, can we open a restaurant called What's Cooking Mama? And then... I can sell your food to the world. But she always says to me, she goes, that food is only for you, not for anybody else. Look at those water droplets. <laughs> right, it's a wet, windy, cold Tuesday, LA Weekly, it's all happening. Let's crack on with the day, let's go. <laughs> Right, okay guys, we've arrived at the showroom and trial cameraman is just there waiting for me. Let's see how this one runs. Right, let's give it a go. Three, two, one, we change angles. Right. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? Alhamdulillah, how are you? All good, all good, alhamdulillah. Now we've got two lenses pointing at us. I've got one on trial cameraman, I've got one on myself as well, whilst we test out trial cameraman's work. Incredible. How's it going? What time did you get here this morning? Got here at 9 a.m., you know. Yo! Yo, 9 a.m. gang, yeah? You know what, I was before everyone, you know. I'd love to be a part of that, but unfortunately, <laughs> my body clock just does not work with me on that one. Yeah. La Tora! How are you, Chodri? How are all the bollards? They're all all right. All the cones are on Coventry Road, still all in a line, Val. See, got there before you did. So, I did have plans, I did have plans to, uh, to hit the motorway and go see my friend Ryan Taylor. And I know that he will probably be watching this and saying, Aline, come on dude. Does the weather really stop friendship? Does the weather really stop a link up? And he's right, he's right. But honestly, I just can't be bothered to get onto the motorway. Instead, I have a better idea. Now you guys have been asking me in the comments, hey Aleem, LA Weeklies are cool and everything, but can we see some more car focused content? Can we have a walkthrough with some of the cars? So I thought, because it's a wet, gloomy, gray day, I think we'll save, save the trip to Ryan Taylor for tomorrow, but for today, I think we're gonna go through some of the cars downstairs. Okay, more of that in a bit. Let's see okay, if Pops right. is there. Woo! Well, I'm, I'm loving the red jacket. Come on. Come on. Right, okay. So we've got a few cars here, uh, and we actually have a very interesting three here. Three very interesting 4x4s. The Mercedes G-Wagon. Ooh, do you see the slide there? Yeah. <laughs> the Lamborghini Urus, and... <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to do my groin in. Getting old now. And the Rolls Royce pulling it. So we have three very hot 4x4s here, and I think what better way than going through them all and comparing them. So we'll sit in the back, we'll sit in the front, we'll have a quick little look around the interior, and uh, it will all just be put together, and you can get a very quick comparison, very, very quick static review of all three. What do you think of that? That would be fun. Bargain. Huh? Bargain. You like it? Yeah. You like it, huh? Which one's your favorite out of the three? I gotta say, Nah, the Cullinan. Yeah? The Cullinan has my heart, man. Yeah, man. Oh, it's you know nice. what? Should we give the Cullinan a hug? Come on, let's give the Cullinan a hug. Right. 
That's it. Cuddles over. Back to the graft. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you a comparison, a quick look around three of the hottest 4x4s on the market, all which are available at Platinum Executive Travel. To start off with, we have the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. This Rolls-Royce Cullinan is sitting on 24-inch 4G Auto wheels. These are no standard wheels. These are an optional extra at £15,000 wrapped with this premium rubber. Now, the outside paintwork is all black, gloss black, metallic black. It's, I think it's like a diamond black. It's got lots of crystals in it, lots of metallic in it. And then we went for the, uh, the black pack. This is all done by Acton Coachworks, uh, Topaz Detailing. Um, those guys collaborated together to make sure there is a flawless finish, a flawless blackout on the Cullinan. Um, we've experienced uh, the Topaz skin on that. It wasn't as durable for our needs, so we had to go all paint. Uh, if you guys are wondering why we don't buy black badge, well, um, it's because we like to make our own black badges. You know, it's a bit more fun. Right, going into the interior of the latest Cullinan that's on our fleet. This one is finished in this Mugello red interior. This is now a, uh, an optional extra. Um, but yes, a very special, special leather color. I love the red tone in this one. It's not too dark, it's not too light. It's just the right, right tone. This has also got the Shooting Star headliner, which is an optional extra, about 14,000 pounds. If you look at the ceiling long enough, you see a Shooting Star, which is uh, pretty incredible. Now look, the three four by fours, let's put them in their categories of pricing before we get moved forward. Now we've started off with the big boy. This is priced at around 345,000 um, pounds with the fact that there is a big backlog of orders and that sort of stuff. This is now trading at around 400,000 pounds. So it is one of the most expensive four by fours out there on the market. Now, if we go onto the interior, it is a very simple interior in terms of you've got one big, large, nice LCD screen. You've got these buttons that mean that you don't have to lift a finger when closing the door. Um, you know, you've got a, a very nice steering wheel, center console, lots of chrome, lots of quality metals, quality materials used and put together in a very classy way. Just the way that you just open the vents and close the vents seems like you are operating a musical instrument. Um, it's obviously got a, a very, very good finish. Um, it is owned by, Rolls-Royce is owned by BMW, so you can expect good quality. Um, but nevertheless, Rolls-Royce always set the standards for that. Um, this car now has done, pff, oh my God. Oh my days. 10,000 miles already. 10,000 miles. The other Cullinan's done nearly 80,000 miles, 90,000 miles, and they are still as strong as anything. Everything works on it. The warranty, service, maintenance team over at Rolls-Royce make sure that our cars are spink spank running in top condition. So um, here we have it then, guys. Very spacious car. Definitely the most spacious out of the three 4x4s, and you'll see why shortly, especially in the back. Um, also got a lot of headroom if you're a nice tall person. Big, big seats as well. Makes you feel like you're just <laughs> moving around from one living room to the other. Um, big, big lounge seats. All in all, just a, uh, a top car. Right, let's have a little startup of it. Again, they say wealth whispers, you know? <laughs> and I think the Rolls Royce does just that. It's a very quiet car. I think the body, the design, the emblem, the grill does all the talking for you. The sound is not necessary. And that is one of the main reasons why I love the Rolls Royce Cullinan. It's just basically say less, you know? So yes, this is, this is the king of 4x4s in my eyes, one of my favorites. But then when we move over to the other two, it all becomes a little bit difficult. I can also see some of my moisturizer from when I hugged it earlier <laughs> my, for my cheeks on the bonnet of that car. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, again, I have two Rolls-Royce Cullinans, alhamdulillah, that are on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the Platinum fleet. We have two more Cullinans 
<laughs> can't believe I'm saying this, but two more Cullinans arriving next year, inshallah. Uh, we have a white one arriving, we just thought we'd break it up a little bit, and another black one. Um, but yeah, more of that later. Right, which one should we do next? Saf, which one? The G-Wagon or the Urus? Should we go for the G-Wagon? Okay, why not? Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2021 Mercedes G-Wagon. So, if you are watching this again, I want to reassure you guys, I did not pick out this number plate because it seems to read Desi G-Wagon. These number plates are going to change next year, <laughs> inshallah. We're putting all the pet plates on it again. They're all going to be one big order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Pet. Imagine that all in one line. That is going to be incredible. So inshallah, that's what we're working on. Anyway, going back to the car. This is a Hyacinth Red Mercedes G-Wagon. And I'm not going to lie, the more time you spend with this car, the more you realize, hmm, you know what? This is a strong competitor for the king of 4x4s. Now, a lot of people order a G-Wagon in black, in gray, in white. Uh, actually, not so much white, but a lot of blacks. Now, if you actually go online, you will find that there is not one, not one red, Hyacinth Red Mercedes G-Wagon for sale. And believe it or not, this is my second Hyacinth Red G-Wagon. And I cannot tell you how many compliments I get on this car, especially because, swing it around, boy, the red leather interior. You imagine the red leather interior with the red exterior. Surely, Aline, you are not that creative to imagine that color combination and know that it will work. And you're right. I saw this color combination for the first time ever when I was in Saudi Arabia on my iPad and I was watching a Top Gear review. And in that online review, if you watch it back, I'm giving some views to Top Gear here. Yeah? I think this should be a good collaboration. Hey, eh? what do you reckon, Saf? Yeah. <laughs> so we have the red G Wagon. And I saw it on the iPad and I thought to myself, but ah, that is what, the, that is the color for the new red G-Wagon. So I've had two of these. Normally I like to play it safe on the four by fours, end up going for black and stuff, but this one had to be red. And no, Matt Watson, this does not look like a fire engine or a fire truck. I know you were given one by Mercedes Benz as a loan car or whatever it was to use for a bit. And I was very upset with you when you said online, that people say that it looks like a fire truck or, or something like that. Well, I've never been told it looks like a fire truck. I've only been told it looks like a boss wagon. <laughs> so anyway, let's not ruin Nahid's uh, stripe. So let's get in very, very carefully. If, uh, come on, you want to swing it around to the other end. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inside of the Mercedes G-Wagon. And I'm not going to lie, out of the three interiors, the three driving cockpit views that I like out of the 4x4s. I think the G-Wagon is my favorite, I have to say. I love the piano contemporary finish down the middle, accompanied with all the beautiful materials of the world. We've got leather, we've got aluminium, we've got metals, we've got these beautiful air vents that just fall flush like turbines. It's just... It's just a very pleasant place to be. You've also got an IWC clock here as well. Um, very, very plush. The optional Designio leather on this one. So, you know, it has got a fair few extras. Right, should we start her up? So there is a button here that you can press to make the exhaust a little bit louder. It has a... Uh, it has a very aggressive, kind of very masculine sound to it, a very aggressive roar to it. It's not like the old G-Wagons, the 2017-2018 G-Wagon. Um, in fact, sorry, this came out in 2018 as well, so we'll just refer back to those ones as the 2018, the previous generation G-Wagon. But it's a bit more refined, and I think it's a bit more usable like that. I also love the dual screen on the front of the dashboard. Um, it gives it a very modern, very contemporary, very futuristic feel to it. Nice big screen, uh, a great sound system as well, great connectivity. You get all that Mercedes-Benz quality that you would expect, and a very pleasant place to be. However, 
Now, I'm very com I'm about six foot two. In fact, I'm about six foot two and a half, which is considered six foot three. So we're going to run it at six foot three. Um, and that is my comfortable seating position. And this is how much space I have in the back. So as you can see, the Cullinan had a lot more space, probably about, you know, another two inches or so more. And um, it makes all the difference. I mean, this is right up in my face. Nevertheless, it's very upright. And that's people, some people like that, but you do get then a lot of boot space. Okay, the boot space. Now, Hibai, would you say this has the biggest boot space out of the three four by fours, or would it be the Cullinan? Cullinan. Cullinan. Okay, so even though the Cullinan has a bigger boot space, this also has I say this is wider, yeah. but lengthwise. I've done some very interesting road trips um, through Europe in a G wagon, and if you actually stack your suitcases correctly, you oh, yeah. ca you can get quite a lot in there. Um, just have a quick look from this side as well. Look at these quilted door cards as well, finished with the piano wood. You know, it's all very very plush. So there we have it, guys. The Mercedes G wagon. Right. Let's have a look at the um, Lamborghini Urus, and this is. By no doubt, from what I have gathered from my following, everybody's favorite 4x4. You just can't get enough of a Lamborghini Urus. Everybody loves it. And who would blame them? I mean, just look at the car. Lamborghini redefined what a super SUV needs to look like. And I just love the DNA of Lamborghini, how it's come through to the Lamborghini Urus, into the design of the outside, the lines, all the shapes, the design of the wheels. You really feel you are driving a, a 4x4 from out of this world, and that's how Lamborghini makes you feel when you drive their supercars. I also have a satin black version in this. I do like matte paintworks on it because it just shows the lines and the creases a lot more. Um, I do have two more Lamborghini Uruses arriving next year as well, inshallah. They are in very interesting specs. Um, but yeah, what makes this car so special. Well, the performance, number one, is out of this world. It has four wheel steering, it handles like a dream. But a, a uh, trial cameraman, if you just swing it round to the back, and if I just put this microphone here. This car is absolutely ridiculous. Exactly what a super SUV should make you feel like. As well as it being practical, it sounds very, very aggressive, a lot more aggressive. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can we just come over here real quick? Look at this. Anybody fancy a shower? What on earth is thing? happening here? Have you got the shower gel? Huh? Have you got the shower gel? <laughs> Let's go. Back to the review. That is some serious storm. And that is the reason why we are here today going through the 4x4s instead of being on the road because I am not looking forward to driving in that weather. Right, so we've covered the fact that the Lamborghini Urus sounds the loudest, sounds the most aggressive, the performance is out of the world compared to all three. It has a top speed of around 187 miles an hour. I know that because I've done that <laughs> for quite a long period of time actually, so a great performing car. Uh, interior wise, I don't know why, I don't know why, but I think it's ready for a update. It's ready for a refresh. It, Still quite modern, I mean, it tells you you've got a screen here, you've got a screen here, you've got a screen here. But other than that, I mean, it's very Audi-like with some, with some DNA of Lamborghini splattered in there just to remind you that you are in a Lamborghini. And that is one of the reasons why when you are just in strata mode, casually driving along, you sometimes can forget that you are in a Lamborghini Jeep, <laughs> a Lamborghini 4x4, shall I say, um, until you pull up to the lights and somebody's just... <laughs> looking at you like that and you're like, what are they looking at? Am I, am I looking weird? And then I realize, oh, it's probably looking at me because I'm driving a, uh, a Lamborghini truck, as they would say. All right. Um, it, has, it has all the features. It has heated seats. Uh, it has a he heated steering wheel, all that sort of stuff. It doesn't have massage seats. I believe the G-Wagon has seats that when you corner, they kind of support you in so if you're on the bend like the the, the side of the wall the, the, the arms of the um, of of the seat 
kind of balance you in so you just stay upright, that's pretty cool. The Cullinan has massage seats, they're pretty cool, uh, body activation. Um, the Lamborghini doesn't, being a sports SUV, I can understand that. Uh, but I feel the right balance out of the three 4x4s for uh, kind of performance and comfort and usability and price, I think you cannot go wrong with this thing here, the Mercedes G-Wagon. I have to say, it is, it is one of the best 4x4s out there. But then again, I look at the Urus, and then I look at the Cullinan, and I just get confused. It's a good job that we've got all three. And inshallah, next year, this 4x4 fleet will be doubled, if not tripled. So make sure you tune in to the LA Weeklies. Make sure you're following me on my Instagram, lordaleem underscore official, so you don't miss out on any updates of what cars are being added to the fleet, what deliveries we've got going on, and all that sort of stuff. It's all go, go, go here at PET. I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough of the three 4x4s. So to conclude, I think the Mercedes G-Wagon is the best value for money, the best quality, performance, and all that sort of stuff. But if money no object, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan is king. And if you like the sound, if you like the speed and the performance, it's the Lamborghini Urus. Actually, thinking about it, do they actually compete with each, each other? They all do something different. Hmm, very interesting. Right, let's crack on with some more work upstairs in the office. There seems to be a storm outside. So let's wrap up warm because we don't want to catch a cold, right? Mm. Right, let's hit it. <laughs> Guys, it's coming towards the end of the uh, the day here at Platinum. Uh, Pots, have we got anything happening past this point? Uh, past this point, no. So uh, I think we're going to call it a day now for uh, for today. Tuesdays, it's been a good one. It's been a wet and windy one, but nevertheless a productive one. We've still somehow managed to bang out orders, even though it was a great start. Uh, we managed to problem solve. Yeah, hey, we problem solved some issues. Um, Alhamdulillah, everything is go go go. We've got cars all washed up. Uh, ready to go out to clients downstairs. Probably need to give the showroom floor a little wipe down because it looks seems like an ice skating ring right now. So we're gonna just top up on some of those bits there now, finish off with some meetings, some phone calls, and some last minute emails, and then I think we'll call it a wrap for today. Let's get Wednesday. I'm excited. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Staff. Good morning. How are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Alhamdulillah, well. Woo! It's windy. It's very cold, isn't it? At least the weather's. The, the sun's out though, huh? Yeah, at least. Oh. Right. What is cracker lacking? Nice to see the showroom floor all nice and clean and tidy, right? Yeah, man. Look, no leaves. Oh, actually, I do see one here. This is exactly how I like to see the showroom floor. We had a very busy day yesterday with maintenance. It's been maintenance Mondays. Man, it's, it is Wednesday, right? Of course it is. Yeah, yeah it is. It is. <laughs> you had to think as well. Yeah. <laughs> Where on earth do these days just go? Um, I know for a fact that this is going on higher and this is going on higher. And that is the reason why they have been moved forward. It's... Wednesday? Is this whitewash Wednesday? Hmm. Let's go upstairs in the office and find out. We're actually not going to be at base today for much longer. We're hitting the road. We've got a few things to do down south. Nice bit of kit there, mate. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to see, um, we're, going to, we're going to go do some uh, submissions down south. Where are we going? We've got to have a look at my friend's new car that he's purchased. Um, it's just had the wrap taken off it, so I'm going to make sure everything's good with that. And also might stop off at a, uh, 
at a friend's house on the way. You guys may know of him already. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Pops? How are you doing? All good. I love your red jacket, man. Hey, yeah, Nambai, we need to get some colour into you as well. Never. No. <laughs> Nambai, bye. What's happening? Wa alaikum salam. Oh, God, Alhamdulillah. Uh, what are you doing over there? I see um, some skateboards are getting. The skateboards are falling off, so I have to fix up a. Find a fix. Maybe they don't actually, they need to send more stronger holders. They were on 3M tape before. No? Yeah. So they kept coming off the 3M tape. So 3M tape's no good then? So I use uh, epoxy. Hello! Anybody home? Lizzie! <laughs> Pops? Yes, mate? Is it Whitewash Wednesdays as well now? We've got the Orange Hurricane, the Cullinan. Yeah, both are leaving now. Yeah. But the Ghost and the Wraith are here, though, no? They're, they're staying. They're staying, of course. Where's the phantom? No! Phantom's going to Where's the phantom going? Johnson. Luton? Yeah. Right, Saf! What's going on? These boys are cracking deals in the office, making things happen. Wow! See how clean it is. Our office is so tidy. This is brilliant. Right, there is a few things that I want to do for the new year. So I'm hopefully going to, well, actually this room is going to stay pretty much as it is. But we are going to make the, uh, the office, this office over here, come on through. This office over here will be turned into our YouTube hub. So we've already got a few things set up in here. I'm going to make sure that the frames are repositioned. We've got some better shelving in. We're going to have everything backlit. We're going to have some graphics on the, on the wall as well, making sure that uh, you're reminded all the time to, to, to subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And then walking from here straight into the customer waiting area. But because we're so good at what we do, alhamdulillah, we don't really have much many customers waiting around. They're here. They, uh, they pretty much just get their cars, they, they get to meet us and we have a great chat and off they go, but we don't really use this room. As you can see, Nahid's stripes are still here. So, instead of just having this as an empty room doing absolutely nothing, we are, and I have to stand on a million dollars of cash right now to say this, that is actually, no word of a lie, I bought this from an art gallery in London and this is a million dollars in cash, but it's obviously not real, but this is what it would look like. Anyway, I have to stand on it because I think this is a brilliant idea. This room is going to be transformed into a podcast set. And that's right. Next year, I'm starting my own podcast. Would you like to be a guest on it? Comment Definitely. below. <laughs> right, Pops. Yeah. I'll chat to you in a bit. Inshallah. Take love. Yeah. Take it easy. Uh, where am I going? I'm going down south. I'm going uh, Potter's Bar. Okay, see you in a bit. Potter's Bar, mate. In a In a bit. Love you. Hold up. But yeah, there's something about black and orange, isn't there? Like when they're paired up together. Uh, what is it? What black and orange is it? Is it not top of the face? Jaffa cakes, it is Jaffa cakes. It's Jaffa cakes, black and orange. It's not one, it's not. Is it blue and orange? No, black. Is it black and orange? Yeah. yeah, not black, actually, you're right, it's blue. It's blue black and orange. Black and orange. Hmm. An NFL franchise, an NBA team, something like that. Right, now I take care, we're hitting the road. Right, okay, we are heading down south to London. I've got a car to view. I was also going to go link up with Ryan Taylor, but I just spoke to him on the phone as well, and he said that uh, he's not home today. Boo! We wanted to go tear up his lawn. That's gonna be a fun day. Uh, well, that's not gonna be today. Um, we're gonna head over to London. I've got a few meetings uh, in Hatton Garden with some jewelers, got some exciting projects lined up with them. Uh, kind of really looking forward to celebrating uh, 15 years of pet in style. Mm, you can kind of get the idea. Right, uh, we need to get to Potter's Bar, check out this G-Wagon, meet up with a few friends. We're going to hit the road with Trial Cameraman, see how he performs. Are you looking forward to this, brother? Of course. Let's get in the car Let's then. get it. So guys, 
So we're on our way to London now. Uh, we're on our way to um, a jeweler in Hatton Garden who is going to make my vision for the pet logo um, come to life in a pendant form. So yeah, to celebrate 15 years of platinum, I've decided that I want a pendant made out of platinum uh, that uh, marks 15 years of platinum and uh, yeah, it's just, a, it's, a, it's just a really creative piece of art and I'd love to see the way that these jewelers can really express their creativity on the piece and uh, make sure it's one that stands out from the crowd. Um, we've got a few other things to do as well, but um, yeah, we'll leave them on the back burner. We'll see how the day pans out. Saf, hit the B-roll. Let's keep it moving. <sighs> Office, lad. Oh, yeah, good old office. What's, What's going on? Yeah. You, you take a seat in my office. Oh. <laughs> Since I take a seat in your office. <laughs> it's oh, not, it's wow. Not, it's not as good as your office, but it will do. No, it's lovely. It's all backlit and everything. It feels like I'm heading over to space oh, with, these, uh, with these NFTs all over my screen. Yeah. And Nat, would you like to tell us more about it? I'm going to make you type and say hello to all these people right now. Okay, all right, cool. Let's say hello to all these people. Hey, Metanauts. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I am actually Oof. waiting for you to get your own one still. I know I've taken a while, so it should hopefully be here tomorrow, your own one with the show in the background as well. Yeah, that would be so cool. So guys, if you don't already know, I'm part of an NFT club called the Metanauts. As we all know, uh, there's a lot of talk about the metaverse. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm a part of this uh, Metanauts club. It's uh, 9,999 individual pieces of digital art. Um, they're all individual, they're all bespoke to, to each each astronaut and uh, yeah, there's 9,999 available. We have nearly 40,000 members uh, already in the club. There's, there's all the stats here and I am a part of this club. So I'm looking forward to getting my own NFT, my own Metanaut. It's gonna have maybe a platinum costume in it or it's gonna have a Chiron in the background. Isn't that right? That's yeah, well, I asked you what you wanted. So yeah. it's gonna take a few more days to come out and then again, you'll have your own custom piece to add to the collection amongst all of them. So yeah, give well, me a few more days. I, I got interested in NFTs uh, when I saw something about, it wasn't the, um, there was a few of the very interesting NFTs. There was like digital monkeys and, uh, all sorts of different kind of themes but what i liked about the metaverse uh, sorry the um, the metanaut theme was the whole space kind of theme to it the space the astronaut kind of outfit and i think it's just uh, it just all falls in line with the way that the future is going so this piece of art is going to be very interesting i was going to say you want to see who i got to follow the page yesterday so we've got like heavyweight champions musicians real madrid players we've got swiss beats to follow this morning as well and so we've got Lord everyone's interested in the metanauts thing so uh, yeah but I you didn't mention we've got Lord Elim as well of course of course yeah. come on Oh, guys. It's hard to get Liam to follow something, so when he does, it's good. <laughs> no, so honestly, I'm really looking forward to this. It's a very exciting project. I will explain more developments on this in the yeah. future. Well, next uh, week, I will uh, take you more information, and then we'll go from there as well. Perfect. That sounds good. Well, if you want to know more about this, make sure you follow out the Metanauts Club. Uh, is, is it just called Metanauts or is it Metanauts Club? Yeah, it's called Metanauts Club on Instagram. Instagram. I'll pop it up on the screen now. And you can also follow me on my Instagram and also Nat's Instagram, which is Amon Nat. Uh, it's pretty much plain, plain, straightforward, exactly what his name is. And yeah, you'll be able to know more about this project and how you can get involved. So it's exciting. Lovely office. Nevertheless, I've got to keep it moving. Oh, wow. Well, well, um, what time do you mean later? Uh, well, we can meet later. How, how long are you in London for? A uh, couple of hours. I've got right. a meeting now in um, Hatton Garden trying to get this little pendant made oh, for the, the pet one. anniversary. Yep. And then um, that's about it. I'll be around. We'll get some food or something like that. And did, did, uh, But if I do miss you, because I'm... I, what well, time are you heading off? I don't know whether I'm going to be in the country tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this weather and what's been going on. The, no no invite? Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be following suit. <laughs> But yeah, now nah, listen. Honestly, um, let's uh, we'll yeah, have a little catch up soon. Really nice to uh, stop by cool, and no. uh, check out the cool. cool. Uh, check how, out how, how's, how's the red G wagon? The red G. I oh, can see you came in the red G wagon. Yeah, I came. Have you seen the red G? No, I haven't. I, come, let me show you. Yeah. So you, I, saw, I, I saw you last weekly. So now you've got a Lamborghini Urus, yeah. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I did a comparison, a very quick comparison, a static comparison for the um, Rolls Royce Cullinan. Oh, I saw this. The Lamborghini Urus and, and the yeah, G Wagon. G -Wagon yeah. 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 So after I, I was watching this and I thought you're gonna say what I hope you was gonna say, yeah. and then you're more the Cullin person. Oh no, uh, this footage hasn't gone out yet. No, I saw you mentioning it somewhere in your story. You said, "Now, what is the best uh, four-wheel car 
available. Yeah. Why aren't you putting stories? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, I, right. I might put it up on my story as well. Make sure you follow me on Lord of the Moon Squad Official for LA Daily. But anyway, so, I did a comparison yesterday on the showroom floor. And after having a walk around all three of them and thinking about them as a true true buyer, like, you know, someone that is, you know, is going to go out and say, right, which one of these three would you, uh, would you have? I came to the conclusion it was the G-Wagon. I don't think so, but... I know what you're going to say, the Lamborghini Urus. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm not going to think so. Fucking hell. Okay. That colour is a lot better in person. Wow. With red interior, it's bold, huh? That is very bold. Do you remember the old school G-Wagons with the... The first ever drive that we had. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, when we the, went to the, the yeah. The, so if you guys don't know, Nat and I, when, when uh, many many years ago, when it was the Gumball get-togethers. If you're watching this, you're a follower of mine for a while. You'll know about the Gumball get-togethers that we had at Krispy Kreme. How, how many years ago was that? That was about uh, six, 2014. Six, seven years ago. Yeah. Even longer than that. Yeah. <laughs> Nat came over, we washed some of my, uh, some of my, oh, you've got to push this button, it's not, it's not as soft and easy as your, yours, but uh, we went over to the Gumball get together and we went in an all AMG themed fleet, um, G-Wagons and SLSs and C63s. And we washed the cars the morning. Yeah, we washed the, the cars. Cold. Yeah, in the in cold. In the cold. We washed the cars the night before in the cold. It's a bit of a madness. And then there's the exhaust button here. No way. And then you put it into Sport Plus. See, I like the digital dash. That's complete the difference maker from the old ones to the new ones. Exactly. The digital dash. Gives it more of a contemporary feel with the ambient lighting as well. And that's look, the quilted so cool. leather. It's all very plush, you know? Okay, you're selling this to me now. <laughs> you're selling this to me now. Maybe get rid of the euros for this thing. <laughs> Mercedes-Benz Warrington. Maybe you should hire me as your salesman, huh? <laughs> I don't good. think it's very hard to sell these guys. It's pretty much... And I love the fact the way the doors close as well. They've got that feel to it as yeah, well. Always, always. It's proper solid. Yeah. Well, now listen, I've got to keep it moving. No worries. And uh, I will see Give you soon. Hours. Yes, as always, cool. we always say. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Amanat, LA yeah. Weekly. If you know, you know, this is the man that helped me start my YouTube channel many, many years ago. We had some fun with it. The I first was the first ever. camera guy. <laughs> for, for, forget his current issues. I was the first camera guy. Ma now my camera guy. I was the first uh, camera guy. Now my camera guy has been blessed by God. And uh, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a hustler and he keeps me on my toes. Every time we have some problems in business or any time I overcome, I have, I have a hurdle in front of me, I'll always call up Nat and he'll always give me the right words that I need to hear to make sure that I can, uh, I can when he cross that hurdle. When he doesn't post videos, trust me, I scream at him to post videos. <laughs> from, I'm in like another country saying, where the hell is the content, content, content? That's and now it. you're in the content vibe. Yes, sir. Right. Love, my boy. Yeah, cool. take easy, yeah? Love. My man, how are you, brother? I'm good, brother. Thanks for coming, Dan. Thank Obviously, you. Thank you we're not you. open yet, but you get a little exclusive tour. Ooh, how are you, brother? <laughs> oh, no, I'm good, You're good. Bro. What's happening, I'm man? Good, I'm good, I'm well, good. thank you so much for having Thanks. me in your shop. It looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. And I'm not just saying the diamonds, I'm just saying the whole fit out. We're talking like we've got gold bricks on the walls. I feel like I'm in a bullion, but with a, a <laughs> twist of LA. <laughs> no, I love it, man. To be honest, I'm still hurting from the cost of these floors, man. Ooh, marble yeah. floors, huh? Yeah, Some man. Some big slabs. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, thanks for coming down. Um, I'm going to give you a quick look around. Yeah, definitely. As you can see, this is like the main showroom. It's a bit mm. bigger than normal jewelry shots, but mm. we just like our style. Um, we've got a white gold section over here. So I, before we start, I can't actually wear, I don't wear gold. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know, I know. So I know. I know when we briefly discussed on the phone yeah. that... Um, I, want to, I was looking for a platinum piece to be made. I know these are absolutely beautiful, but you know, I don't even look on the gold side of things just to not even tempt myself. No, but, but we, look at this. Well, you've got to remember, we own all our molds, so mm -hmm. I just want to show you this. Yeah, so definitely, what, your craftsmanship. So, yeah, so whatever you see, I can make it platinum for you. Mm -hmm. Or I can make, you know, silver and diamonds, but we definitely got to keep it platinum, obviously, to go with the brand. Keep yes, it consistent. Sir. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? <laughs> just, it just makes sense. Oh, wow. And all these, I see you have many other, pe lots of other pendants here as well. So much to choose from, so much to see. Okay. You guys do watches here as well? Yeah, we're, yeah, but well, mostly known for jewelry, like Good. our custom pendants. That's what's made us famous and stuff like that. Hi. But it's, yeah, that's what we're known for the most. Good stuff, man. Yeah, brother. Cool, brother. 
Right. Yeah, no, I can give you a tour around. Normally, we'll be having this meeting in our VIP room, but we actually got to show ourselves a channel four and they're set up. Yeah. So, I'm just going to quickly show you what it look like. Definitely. I'm going to be with you in 10 seconds, Slim. Oh, wow. So, you've got another room down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is where you can sit down and take your time and look around all the jewelry. It's okay, a bit nice. Nice to see the media team out yeah. as well. <laughs> Good stuff. Cool. How are you? It's a bit. It's a bit under construction now, but this is one of our workshops where we actually like make some of the jewelry and stuff. Oh wow! So I see like these are the molds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is what I like to see because I I, I want to make the pendant, but I want the pendant to be kind of a little bit, you know, three D, you know, with some. Oh, I just want it to really pop with some le le yeah, layers. That's, that's our style, bro. That's Do you our, use three D printing, style, by the way? Yeah, you have to, bro. Oh, okay, okay. That's what this is over here. This is a wax. Wow. That's from three D printing. Really and they're like, it. this is just part of it. It's not fully finished yet, but this is like our polishing, cleaning, steaming room. This oh, is nice. our polishing, steaming, cleaning room. So like when you, you know, like you've got, um, what is it, uh, ice box where people bring their jewelry yeah, come through. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. A lot of people don't have the cleaning service on site. No, no. no. So you have, the, you, so if you do get some jewelry from you, is that a thing that if you pop through that you'll give it a quick little clean off? Yeah, them? yeah, no, yeah I, I've got you, brother. <laughs> I don't know how big I want it right now, but I don't want it big because I obviously I don't wear much jewelry. Oh, wow. But I don't want it too small that you know there's no detail in it and it's pretty much pointless to have it even made. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so that, like I mentioned, we can't have it in white gold. Uh, we can't have it in any type of gold. So it'll have to be either steel or platinum. Seeing as no, my it can't be me. steel. It would have to be platinum. Yeah. Bro. So we we we, we do platinum, um, and I want a mixture of polished platinum edges. Right, with 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 diamonds that are clear as water. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you're the right place, bro. Yeah. I, 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 I think you said there that it's it's mandatory, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how how big is the pendant size going to be? Let's have a yeah, look. That's what we're going to do. Firstly, out of these sizes, what what what, what, do, you, what do you feel about this one, do you? Bearing in mind, I don't wear jewelry or something like that, but. That's what it's really good. Really and truly, this is the size. Yeah, if you uh, could, that, 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 That's too small. If you could do something that size, then I could, I could make this all invisible set. I could even make it maybe a touch smaller than this. Is this yeah. invisible set? No, nah, this is prongs. Have you got any invisible set here? It's all gone, bro. Oh, when, when they're made, like, someone just comes and picks it up. Because it just it? looks... <laughs> yeah, the, the closest thing I've got, I've got one of my Cubans, which are invisible set. What about the resin? You don't need it, it's called platinum. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. If you had like another company colour, then I might have thought about I have red. 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 I'm what? black and red. Then we can do that. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. My company colours are black and red. So I say matching my Chiron interior, like, like, like so. And oh, then, yeah, that's the. Yeah. Well, then what we'll do. And then, then the building is black and red. What we'll do, we'll get rid of the polished finish on the PET and we'll just make that red. Diamonds, what? That, like, iced out platinum with red? With red no, in. no, no. You see where it says PET? Yeah. We'll make that red. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it. The, uh, this part here. Yeah. What clarity of diamond are we going to be working with? VS. Mm. Uh, is it, I mean, look, okay, at the end of the day, everybody asks this question. Is there a, a much of a difference between VS and VVS diamonds? If you're getting an engagement style of it. To me, I would only personally go for VVS when you're looking at engagement size stones, stones over one carat. When, it's, when diamonds are smaller, mm. it's very hard for even an expert jeweler to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Where I can tell the difference, but that's when you put them both up and I'm like, that, that, okay, that's the one. But if you're talking for everyday use, someone walking by me in a club, it's hard for me to tell the difference from real VS a real VVS. I want, I want razor sharp detail with it. I want, I want to be able to, I want to be able to wear that piece and and be able to be driving my Bugatti and know that the, the piece that is on. Listen, that I look at it. Listen, listen, listen. The Queen was going to be impressed. You know, because this is the, this is the first yeah, time yeah. ever I've ever commissioned a piece of jewelry. Yeah, so yeah. That, is, that, is, that is that is pretty mad. Okay. You don't have to worry. The Queen, the Queen will be impressed. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right guys, so just having a catch up with Ice now and we're just going through the different options that we can do with the pendants, the sizes, the type of diamonds, the type of fit and finish. And it seems like there's a lot of options. It just all depends on your budget and what you want to do. Um, so I'm excited to uh, speak to him in detail about the pendant. Until then, you can enjoy some good footage from uh, the very own Ice Jewel shop. Check it out. <laughs> So guys, I've had an idea for quite some time now to have a pendant made for uh, the uh, 15 year anniversary of, of Pet, just something small. Um, got invited down by Ice Jewels, whose store is not open at the moment, so we got a quick access, uh, a behind the scenes, shall we say, preview of their place. Top, top, top guys. Um, really taught me through different variations, different ideas for a pendant. Uh, different finishes, different fits and that sort of stuff that we can use for it. So yeah, it's given me more kind of clarity on the things that we can do and make sure that it all fits within budget. Yep, believe it or not, I am going to run a budget on this. This is the first time I've ever commissioned a piece of jewellery and probably will be my last time that I commissioned something like a pendant because it's not something that I would wear often. Uh, but I think it would be quite cool to celebrate 15 years of platinum, seeing as my company's called Platinum, as in the metal, have a pretty cool platinum pendant made. Uh, so yeah, big thank you to them for running it through. Uh, I'm still going to have a think on it. Uh, nothing is solidified at the moment. Uh, there is a few other jewellers that I want to go visit and see uh, what other ideas they have in mind, and then we'll take it from there. Uh, but for now, uh, we need to get back to Birmingham because I need a haircut and a trim, and I'm booked in for 8 p.m., and right now it's 10 past 6, so that means I've just got under two hours to get to Birmingham. Right, let's do this. <laughs> Right guys, it is nearly 10 p.m. and my haircut is pretty much nearly done. Uh, Moose has very kindly uh, stayed over because I don't know what my plans are for tomorrow. I've been watching so much, so much Formula One content building up to the final race. It's really making me want to go out to Abu Dhabi uh, slash Dubai for the race weekend. But we'll see how that is. Uh, I'm just going to have a trim. Uh, finish up with this and then inshallah tomorrow we catch you for a Thursday on LA Weekly. It's going to be a good one. Right guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's get it. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. How are you today? Oh, okay. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. What's the plan for today? <laughs> Hassan, come on. When have I ever come to early at work? When have I ever come early to work? Look at the time. <laughs> My time's not even set. My phone's in the car, but you get the you get the idea. There's obviously got to be something for me to do to wake up at this time. I've got to catch a flight. Where are we going, boss? Well, oh, where are we going? Uh, where are we going? Uh, where I am going? Unfortunately. But where we, LA Weekly, are going? Unfortunately, Hassan, I'm going to have to replace you with this. Are you vaccinated? Yeah, do I vaccinate? Oh, yeah. You are? So, actually, there is no excuse, actually. <laughs> Where was the offer? Is that what you're saying? It's dirty, yeah. No, I promise you no. Comment below, it's dirty, yeah. <laughs> no, Hassan, it was so last minute. I was sitting in the barber chair and I thought to myself, I was watching the Formula One Grand Prix and all the highlights and, and all that sort of stuff. And I thought to myself, well, you got me going last weekend when you were just editing away and you was like, Aline, 
what's, uh, uh, what's, this, what, what's the race going like? And I was thinking, I'm more concerned about the LA Weekly right now, and he's asking me about the race. And then you just somehow reignited that flame of Formula One. If, let's say, the storyline hasn't already ignited that flame, Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, right down to the wire, Hassan. Big. It's going to be big. It's going to be major. So I phoned up one of my, uh, one of my friends last night as well. I said, are you down to come with me? And uh, he said, yeah, why not? He's been itching to head over to Dubai as well. So I thought we'd kill two, boy, two, two, bir two, birds, two birds in one stone. And we take LA Weekly along with us. Uh, a link up there. Yeah, a little bit of a link up. We take LA Weekly with us. We get to watch <clears throat> the Formula One. We get to have some fun for four or five days. You know, and it's just something different, taking them away from the whole showroom, you know? Right. Cheers. How are you? I think it's two years. I've been saying it to you every single day. They do? All good parts. I know you should have done. Oh, my God, you know. Oh, yes, same top. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, it is, but we've got a different finish. Right, guys, we're going to get away from this office for a second. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think everybody in there knows yet where I'm off. Unless my dad's told him. Pops, how's your cornflakes? I love it, you just love doing me. Mm. Um, but you just can't get it? It'd be lovely to have a rainbow there, yeah. beautiful. How's that? Oh, are you talking about rainbow G-Wagons? Yeah, yeah, Jazz told me about this about yeah. two, three years ago. He said, yeah, that, you know what? You should go get four G-Wagons in different colors, like a colorway, like a rainbow. Mm. Was, we can still try it. We can start it off with red. But hard, <laughs> to get. hard to get. <laughs> right, Pops, do you know where I'm off to today? Where? Do you want to tell LA Weekly? Blackpool. Where are you sending me? <laughs> no. The coach, what time does the coach leave? Good Pops. Time. I've already semi-told LA Weekly this morning on the driveway, but where are you sending me today? No, um, not where I'm sending you. You're going to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, Enjoy. take it easy. Thank see you so week. much. Inshallah, see you next week, Pops. And, um, uh, anything else? Don't forget to get me something. I will. Okay. What do you want? Just a piece of rock. Line with a statue of a bunch of people. Eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, no, yeah. <laughs> no statues of Burj Khalifa, right. But Hassan's a little bit sore that he's not going to Dubai. But, um, but, uh, but he's going to New York. He's going to New York in, 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 in the new year. I'm not. That's when you leave me and you end up. Right, guys, we're going to now head over to the airport because the flight is in at 1.30. No, but you're not coming. Okay. You're going to Dubai? I'm ready. I do. I do. Look, same thing. You don't need no suitcase or nothing as well. No, you just wear my clothes. Oh, that's one thing. How are you going to have that biryani every day though? I'll just take three containers in it. How many days are you going for? Six. Six stories. Should make a full week. But can, if we bring seven containers, I'll, I'll say, you, you know what? One. I can have one, yeah. You can have one. But you know, you get stopped at customs because if you have too much biryani on you, they've got to see some of it. You can't take too much. Cargo? Hi <laughs> 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 right, guys, uh, that is pretty much it for this week's LA Weekly. We're going to head over to the airport, make sure that we get on time, uh, get there on time, and make sure that um, we get onto this flight because I wouldn't want to miss this for the world. So inshallah, we get there on time, and um, that's only going to happen if we uh, we cut here now. So all right, let's see you at the airport. <laughs>
Saf, they've been absolute soldiers in filming this week's LA Weekly. I hope you've enjoyed their work and enjoyed this week's episode. If you have, like I said before, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below on what you think of, um, of the new setup. And inshallah, in weeks to come, we will build up that. Once we get to know each other a bit better, we will build that interaction up on camera as well. But for now, here is a top episode for you guys. And um, there also is going to be a top episode seven as well because we're heading over to Dubai. I'm excited. Time is of the essence, so we are going to head on in now, and I'm going to leave you there. Make sure you subscribe, share, and like, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next week for another incredible episode of LA Weekly. It's been a pleasure, as always, guys. Take it easy. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>